Hello, welcome to the Presence Tech View, another episode. Uh, in this episode, I'll show you guys how you can configure a vSAN cluster in your environment. So I'll show you with um, nested ESXi, because if you want to do the practice at your home, uh, if you don't have a physical server, then you can do it on uh, nested ESXi. Um, but it's exactly the same as whenever you do on a physical machine. So why you need to be sent? First, I'm gonna discuss about why you need to be sent and how you're gonna do that. What is the prerequisite for that? So let's get started. Uh, I'm going to share my screen and then I'll show you guys step by step. Um, uh, so you see here, I have an uh, environment. You see nested uh, HA cluster. I have three ESXi host. So for creating a BSIM, you need to have two ESXi host, but another ESXi host. It says two node cluster, but actually it's not two node. It's um, like you need one extra host to just work as a uh, witness, witness host. And so I'm going to describe you actually how, actually what do you need? And based on that, So if you think about this is your BSN architecture, right? What is the prerequisite you need to do? So for, you have to have, you have to have uh, like a three host or two host, depends on what types of cluster you're gonna set up. It's a single site cluster. There's a call, another one is called two host BSN cluster. There's another one is called storage cluster. It depends which one you design, right? So for single site cluster, I designed with three ESXi hosts. One will be actually the witness will be shared, distributed among the uh, cluster. If you have a four node or five node, any one of them can act as a witness. So it's going to be distributed if you created a single site cluster. And for um, like a two node cluster, so two node cluster, you need to have an extra third number host for providing a witness. So if you have a under the Virgin data center, one data center, you can have a multiple cluster. This cluster has two nodes, this cluster has two nodes. So if you have a multiple cluster like that, and if you want to create separate, separate BSIN, and then one of one ESXi is enough to support as a witness for all the BSIN cluster. That's the concept of this. And this is called two host BSIN cluster. And then and the third model is stretched cluster. So Virginia, say for example, you have a Virginia data center, you have a Texas data center, right? So any one of the data center, maybe this one is your uh, DR data center. So any one of the data center, if you have an extra host, which is gonna provide you a witness host. So think about uh, my Virginia data center, I have four ESXA host, I have created a BSN cluster, uh, and, and also this one is my um, witness host, right? And then I have another cluster. I have another cluster, BSM cluster, uh, BSM cluster in my Texas data center. But for the witness, I use the same host from Virginia data center. And that's called a stretched cluster. So four node cluster on your Virgin data center, four node cluster on your text data center. That's a BSN data center model, like three model you can go for. Stretch cluster and a two, ho a two host BSN cluster and also the single side cluster. So I'll show you single side cluster in this demonstration. But now a question, why you need BSN? The BSIN concept developed when um, the VMware actually all the time, VMware cluster work with the shared storage. The concept is coming from the shared storage. So VMware cluster required is mandatory. You have to have a, if you want to configure VMware cluster. So VMware cluster comes with HA and DRS, right? High availability and DRS. 
So if you have a DRS and HA configure, also Bmotion configure, you must need a shared storage. That means a third party storage system. You need to mount or you need to integrate with your VMware environment with your ESXi host. That's a separate data store. It can be an uh, NFS, it can be NAS storage, it can be iSCSI sense storage, it can be FC sense storage, right? So, so whenever you purchase a server for building a ESXA host, server itself come up with some storage. So if you use third party storage, definitely you're gonna build a cluster. And if you build a cluster, cluster requires shared storage. And for the shared storage, you all the time use iSCSI SAN, FC SAN, or NAS. But what are you gonna do with your local storage? What are you gonna do with your local storage? What are you gonna do with your local storage? If you have a, say you have a 50 ESXi ho physical host, each host has five terabyte. Each host has five terabyte local storage. And you have a 50 SXI host. That means how many terabyte you have? 50 and five. So 250 terabyte storage, you just have as a local storage, which is not utilized, not used, right? So what you can, how you can utilize those local storage. That's why VMware come up with a plan and they said, okay, we are adding a feature, vSAN cluster, but you have to have a license for it. You have to have an enterprise plus license for vSAN cluster, and then you will be able to implement it because it's a built-in features on the ESXi, uh, sorry, um, on uh, vCenter. It's a built-in features on vCenter. So you, if you have a vCenter license, and also if you have a vSEN license, and whenever you create a cluster, you will be able to create a vSEN cluster. So that means what you are utilizing your local storage and those local storage gonna be come up as a bundle and is gonna act like as a shared storage, which will satisfy the VMware cluster requirement. So I believe you understand the concept, why you need the vSEN cluster. And also I explain different, different types of a cluster and now I'm gonna discuss about um, actually how many disk group you can have or, or, or what should be the size, maximum size of your vSAN cluster. So if you have a 500 ESXi, do you think you're gonna have just one cluster with 500? No, the maximum host supported is 64. Maximum 64 in one cluster, you can have a, a vSAN. And then, each host, you can have multiple partitions. So for an example, I added, I did three partition, 10 gig partition, I'm gonna install SXI OS, and 40 gig I'm gonna use for cache tier, and also 100 gigabyte I'm gonna use for capacity tier. So whenever you're gonna create a vSAN, it's required to have two disk type. Is a two disk model, which is cache tier and capacity tier. So cache tier, and capacity tier, you have to keep two separate partition in each ESXA, physical ESXA. So whenever you're gonna install the ESXA, and if you have a plan to have a vSAN cluster, you should have three or four or five um, So you, you should have a, some disk group, right? But Capacity tier, if you have a like more a lot like second partition, third partition, fourth, fourth, fifth, it doesn't matter. You can have more partitions on it. That means a different, different group, right? Capacity group number one, capacity group number two, capacity group number three, right? You can have it in one ESXA host. But how many? How what is the maximum? So maximum is a five disk group. So I have already three disk groups. So if I want to add, okay. I wanna make some partition, no, sorry. So think about, I wanna make some partition like this. Add more disk here, add more disk here, add more disk here, 
So how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, six group already created. Six partition already created. It's a red group, right? If you have the like too many hard drive on one, but do you think you can do that? No, you cannot because you can maximum five disk group. So maybe you need to have like this. So this is the requirement. That's what I'm explaining. And so I'm going to delete this one. I just like put same, same, same storage in each drive. So 10 gig, 40 gig and 100 gig. So the 10 gig I'm going to install ESXi. This is the ESXi, this is the ESXi. And this 40, 40, this 40 from three host, I'm gonna use as a cache tier and also 100, 100, 100. This group I'm gonna use as a capacity tier. That's why I just mentioned capacity tier. Now you need to understand what is the capacity tier, what is the cache tier, right? So BCN architecture consists of two tiers. A cache tier for the purpose of read caching and write buffering. So read caching and write, uh, write buffering. So that means you don't need that much capacity for that. For the cache tier, you don't need to have that much capacity. So when you do the read, maybe use a smaller disk for that. And capacity tier for persistent storage. So persistent storage means, persistent storage means like, it's gonna bundle up this hundred, this hundred, and this hundred together. So it's gonna be three hundred total. That's what it means. Okay. So I believe you understand what it means. And B C disk type. So what should be the disk type? The so cache tier is a disk. Maybe it's HDD hard drive, right? This is also hard drive, right? But Whenever you create a BSEN, BSEN disk have some specific types. So magnetic disk, which is HDD, right? And all flash, that means it can be run on 10 GB network. You can have like all, you can have all like all flash. Uh, oh, sorry, magnet. this is actually not the type. So all two types, all flash, all are flash, this type, or maybe hybrid. Hybrid means flash plus magnetic. That means HDD and flash. But if you do the hybrid, it can support minimum one gig network or 10 gig is fine. But if you have all flash, it's not gonna support with one gig network. So that's the requirement. And also there's another requirement. If you create a BSIM cluster, you have DRS needs to be enabled, but HA should be turned off. And you have to configure BM kernel for BMotion. And also you have to configure BM kernel for BSEN. So two BM kernel adapter you need to enable for doing this. So I have a complete video for that. If you go to the YouTube and search my channel, like is it international and go to my, just click on my logo, then you're gonna get this page and go to the video options. You're gonna see here, I have a video how to deploy distributed switch, configure BM kernel for iSCSI, BSEN, BMotion, and BSEN. So if you watch this video, that will cover uh, your like uh, your BSEN configure, like BM kernel, BMotion, and BSEN configuration, uh, kernel configuration. Okay. So I believe um, I explained enough for the concept. Now let's get started with the practical. So we're gonna do the practical. And I built just uh, three nested SXI. And also again, if you want to learn what is the nested SXI, I have another video for nested SXI. Watch this video, then you can understand actually what, how you're gonna build the nested SXI. So let's get started. So I have a cluster with three hosts, right? Now I'm going to create BSEN cluster, right? So select this one, go to the see DRS is, what is the DRS? Okay. What DRS is turn off? Turn on the DRS. Okay. But HA should be turn off. It's already turn off. And then service, go to the service. Okay. 
All right, so uh, the three hosts, I just selected this one, uh, the cluster, right click, and one, oh, sorry, select the cluster configuration, then service, and then you wanna see, vision is turned off. I never turn on because I, this, is, this is the new setup, right? So configure, and then you're gonna see the single side cluster, two host vision cluster and stretch cluster, which I already described, right? Click next. I'm going with the single node cluster. Single side, sorry, single side cluster. I'm going with the single side cluster in this demonstration. And in here, you don't need to do anything. Just click next. And now it's gonna show you, you see here, unclaimed storage, 430. So why 430? Because each one I have um, 300 plus 40, 40, 40. And one of the hosts I have actually, um, instead of 100, I have 110. I just want to show you. Total is 130 gigabyte free space. So I'm going to go to see the group by host. So host view is more easier. You see here? It says no flash. One of the is and um, drive type is HDD. One of them, the cache tier, I have to change it to flash. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. So the the smaller one, I'm gonna configure as a flash and capacity tier. The capacity tier is, is gonna be the actual storage. So from the host one, this one, I'm going to say, change it to mark as a flash. And this one is HDD, that's fine. And now this one I can say cache tier, and this one I'm going to change it as a capacity tier. I just expand it. Okay, so this is done on the host number one, right? Now host number two, host number two. So the you see here host number two I have instead of hundred I have hundred ten. So this one will be capacity tier, and this one I'm going to make a flash for creating a cache tier. Okay, now. Next one, for host number three, same thing. Uh, this HDD, this one should be marked as a flash and this one cache tier and this one is capacity tier. Now, everything says configure correct, right? All those are configured correct. So claim cache is 120 because 40, 40, 40 each, right? So 340, three times 40 is 120. The claim capacity, 310. So the extra advantage of this, whenever you do the RAID system, you do the RAID system in that time, if you have a disk, say 100, 100, 100, one is 110, then it's not gonna take 110, it's gonna take only 100 because the minimum one will take match for all. But in basin, it's gonna take all, whatever you have. Click next, click next and finish. So now you can see the um, task. So the task update send configuration is running, is running. So we have to wait a little bit and okay, host is complete. Seems like everything is, oh, okay. Okay. This one is sixty percent. We have to uh, wait nested HA cluster. Okay, seems like this one is not complete yet. Okay, status. You need to just wait a little bit to check all the status. So it still is running. You have to wait. Checking the configuration. We have to wait.
All right, so our data store is created. You see here, BCN data store. If you click here, you're gonna see BCN data store. If you click here, you're gonna see BCN data store. So BCN data store has been created. And now if you want, you can create a virtual machine. How are you gonna create a virtual machine? Anywhere on the cluster or on the host, anywhere you can just right click, say new virtual machine, click next. And I can say test BCN. BM, just nothing else. Next, next. You see here, the basin cluster, the new one. This is the new one, click next, click next. Windows, okay, click next and finish. I just simply want to show you, you are able to create, okay. So test BM is where it's created. If you go to the summary, the test BM is created on host number three. Now I'm going to move it to another host. Migrate, next. Now host number two, next. And finish. Now see, it's gonna be changed, it's gonna be changed. And now it's, see, it's two. Now from two to one, right click. Migrate, next. Host number one, next, next, next. You see it's gonna be changed. Okay, see now it's the one. So this one is now like sitting on the host number one. So this is how easily you can move the machine from one host to another host. And, and the BCN cluster is implemented. So now you have a BCN cluster. If you go to the data store, also you're gonna see here, BCN data store. See the capacity, total capacity. So thank you, thanks everybody to watch this video. If you think this video is helpful for you, please make some comments. Uh, which will encourage me to make more videos for you guys. And if you are new in this channel, please subscribe my channel and don't forget to click the bell icon because it will help you to get my uh, next video update. Thank you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in another video.